Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. The June update for Battlefield 1 is live across all platforms. DICE is calling it the Novell Knights update since the biggest addition of the patch is, of course, the new Knight map. Novell Knights is set during the Second Battle of Vienna in 1917 and pits the French against the Germans in a nighttime battle for control of the trenches and no man's land. Novell Knights is included with the French-themed DLC, They Shall Not Pass, so if you already purchased the expansion or a Battlefield 1 Premium Pass, there is no extra cost. The same goes for the next night map, Priest de Tour, coming next month. If you don't own the DLC, Premium Friends is now active through Gamescom, so you can play the expansion and Novell Knights with a buddy, provided they own a Premium Pass for Battlefield 1. Novell Knights is also playable with the new Frontlines game mode, and DICE is also bringing Frontlines to all players on the vanilla maps Argonne Forest and Amiens. If you're unfamiliar with Frontlines, it combines the best aspects of Conquest and Rush in a tug-of-war battle. Players must first capture designated points and push the enemy back to their spawn, where they must then detonate two telegraph stations. If they fail in this task, they are pushed back, and the capture phase begins again. Frontlines often results in seesaw battles, as either team can come back from the brink of losing to win the match. The new mode was introduced with They Shall Not Pass, but it is exciting to see DICE add the new game mode for all Battlefield 1 players. Also in the Novell Knights update, DICE added a Best Squad feature during the end-of-round screen, which highlights the top-scoring squad in the game. A number of tweaks and bug fixes were also included in the patch. DICE changed the no-kill trade distance from 10 meters to 20 meters based on community feedback. This means kill trades will only occur at longer distances. The chance for weather events on Vedon Heights was also increased, and the rental server program now supports a server option for infinite magazines. Additionally, if you have They Shall Not Pass, the Ribirola can now be set to single fire mode. A number of other minor bug fixes were also included in the patch, so to view the complete patch notes, check the link in the video description. Overall, in my opinion, Novell Knights is another step in the right direction. But what are your thoughts on the patch? Have you played Frontlines or Novell Knights? Tell me your impressions in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and of course, subscribe. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching.